name is Evie, welcome to my channel. This is obviously my first video and I feel a tiny little bit nervous but I want you to stay here and make yourself comfortable anyway and yeah you probably will ask me why should you stay and I honestly can't tell you that I am super special or something or that I will show you something you've never seen before I don't want to promise that but I believe that all people here on YouTube and actually like everywhere have different beautiful individualities and I hope that I am able to find friends here and that maybe I can even inspire somebody so that's why I want to give it a try and that's why I want you to stay let's get to the video and I wrote down some facts about myself in this big ideas journal and that actually can be my first fact about myself I love paper and yeah I sound like a Dwight from the office right now but it's really true I prefer reading paper books I can't read from screen at all and I can't read from this like ebooks or how do you call them I can read like a small article or blog post uh, on the screen on my laptop obviously but everything else like books it's just impossible for me and the same thing is about writing uh, if I want to write lists or ideas or something like that I definitely prefer writing on paper I hope that there is somebody else there who feels the same way English is not my native language as you might have already noticed but if you did I'm sorry if it bothers you but uh, I'm not going to film videos in my native language because I don't use my native language in real life anymore almost I don't speak out loud I just write messages to my parents and that's pretty much it and sometimes I also read in it but only on the internet even uh, when I read books I read them in English so I hope you will just enjoy my accent I love thrifting this love was born when I was a little girl and my mom would take me to different second-hand stores that's how we called them back then and I would just dig into all this stuff and find amazing things and experiment and that's just the best thing ever antique stores, thrift stores, flea markets, whatever yes 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 just take me with you <laughs> I love this stuff and why I mentioned that I'm gonna make thrift hauls I'm gonna make thrift lookbooks and everything like that maybe even thrift home decor videos because I really need to finish decorating my house anyway I will really glad to share my findings with you I love cooking and almost everything I make is from Italian cuisine and it's probably because I lived in Italy for uh, almost three months and I just believe that Italian cuisine is the most delicious food in the world but I also like to experiment I'm always open to different new recipes cooking is just like art you know you can always create something crazy and if it also tastes delicious then it's just amazing I'm not sure how I'll be in cooking videos like will it work for me or not I probably will try if you want and I would share my favorite recipes with you or I will try something new and yeah tell me if you want to see something like that I can't ride a bicycle yes I know it bothers me too and literally every single person who heard this from me said that he would try to teach me to do that and some of them actually tried but nobody managed to finally teach me and this is just crazy but the only thing I remember 
I could do is going straight ahead and then I wouldn't be able to turn anywhere at all and I would most likely fall on the ground and be so painful and I don't know what is wrong with me, I just, it doesn't work. I blame bicycles, I think that they were not right for me. I blame teachers that they weren't, like, you know, teachers enough. <laughs> Please tell me there is somebody who can't ride a bicycle too. I will feel so much better. I tell people that I'm not superstitious, but I will most likely freeze in the street if I see a black cat crossing my road. And this is so ridiculous because I even own black cat from this year and I just can't help myself. I am not afraid of tickling and yes, even if you would try, you would see that. But I'm terrified of insects, of heights sometimes of somebody's blood you know not of my own but if i see somebody's blood my knees start shaking and i feel dizzy and it's just really crazy and sometimes also darkness probably when i'm alone at home then i will just turn on all the lights and sleep like this my favorite colors are beige and brown in all their variations Yes, and I wear it too, and I actually love them so much that I can feel even jealous when somebody else likes them. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Writing poems was my safe spot for almost two years, and unfortunately all those poems are in my native language, but I consider translating them into English when I can and feel like this just because I don't want to like lose it and not be able to share it with anybody anymore. I was really into this and I was even publishing them online and there are a lot of people enjoying them. Even I myself would sometimes go and check them out when I feel down or when I just want to have some nostalgia in my life. So yeah, I really love poetry. So as I told you, my name is Eve, but my full name is Iveta. And I don't know who told me that or where I've read that, but now I'm pretty certain that it translates like three-leaf clover. I can't find any proof right now anymore, but it just, it is in my mind. So that's why I started collecting three-leaf clovers and it's mostly just like vintage jewelry with them but I really enjoy doing this uh, it's like a really good chance to bring something special from each country you visit that's what I'm mostly doing and it's not a huge collection but it warms my soul sometimes when I look at it and I wear some of those pieces so yeah, that's pretty cool. I was studying in college for three years and there was only one year left ahead of me, but I dropped off and I think that this was the best decision of my life. Seriously. Uh, yeah, I was studying information security and that's... I didn't choose this by myself. This is something I wanted to do to make my parents happy and this is what you shouldn't do at all as I understood kind of late but yeah I feel so much better right now I feel healthier I stopped having panic attacks I lost extra weight which was caused by constant stress and I'm really glad that I found a person who support me through all this and still supports me and I'm really glad that my parents understood finally what I, I'm talking about and I believe that you, like each person, should do something that he likes because all this three years just waking up and going to listen about something I don't care about was just the worst. Um, the only good thing that I can say about that is that I met some good people and learned some good lessons about life 
from that place. But even those people are not my friends anymore, so I don't miss that place at all. I don't remember any competition I would ever win except of one. Uh, it was somewhere on a public page on the internet and we were supposed to write a poem for Fred and George on their birthday. Uh, yeah, obviously it was public page connected with Harry Potter theme. I wrote one and I won and there was my name on this public page and that's pretty much it. There was no prize, nothing at all, but I am still proud of that and that's so ridiculous. Talking about Harry Potter, I was deeply, deeply in love with Rupert Green and I was looking through all the internet to find his address and I was planning a trip to England to visit his place. And this is so funny every time I remember that. And it is especially funny because all my friends, girlfriends, were in love with Harry Potter and I would never understand that. I can move my nose like a rabbit and I will try to show you. This one is going to be short. I never wince when I eat a lemon. I don't have a lemon here right now to show you. Just trust me. Yeah, these were some random facts about me and I hope that you were able to know me better. I'm sorry that I lost some, like in the middle of filming and now I look kind of reddish. I hope you will forgive me that. More videos are coming soon like different types of them. I am working on this right now. So I hope that you will stay and that I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. I feel great after talking to you. Bye!